Last time on session one, Humble Beginnings, we were introduced to the Humblewood, a vast wood nestled between the mountains and the sea where two animal-like humanoid races, the bird folk and the humble folk, live peacefully. Long ago, not long after the capital city of Alderhart was founded, a massive forest fire burned a large portion of the forest. It's now known as the Scorched Grove and is home to many flame-infused creatures. There's a group of druids and mystics known as the Tenders who work on healing the grove with natural magics. There's been a recent outbreak of fires, displacing humble folk and bird folk alike. On top of this, the Bandit Coalition has been swelling in numbers. We were also introduced to four adventurers enjoying their breakfast at the Witty Stag in the town of Meadowfin, a week after a large plume of black smoke covered the sky. Sticky, the young, lovable, albeit slightly slimy, Maypock Ranger, Cheerio, the small military gerbine fighter willing to always lend a helping hand, Margaret, the odd but lovable Luma wizard Tinder, and Miles, the protective bookish hedge druid. It wasn't long before they were interrupted by a young gerbine yelling that Carol was back. After following them out the door, they were greeted with a large crowd surrounding a wounded strig. Ardwin, the Meadowfin elder, invites her and the party into her home. Kara explains the town of Ashborough is destroyed. The citizens that were spared were taken by bandits, although she isn't sure where they were taken. Ardwin asks the party to go to the Alderheart and inform the Birdfolk Council of Ashborough's fate and the bandit problem. The party agrees and sets off. After a day and a half of uneventful travel, the party comes across a group of bandits surrounding a small cart and a small groaning lump in the road. Miles led the party into battle. After one bandit fell to the party, the bandit captain Frey joined the fight. Our valiant hedge fell unconscious while the rest of the party battled on. When the bandit went down, Frey changed her tune and tried to run away. Sticky fired his crossbow into the forest and landed the final blow. After two successes and a natural one on his saving throws, Miles successfully rolled his third and final successful saving throw, stabilizing him. Cheerio went to check on the lump in the road and found a young Aluren named Eliza who is traveling to the Alderheart by way of Winnowing Reach. Eliza gives our downed hedge a healing potion. Once healed, Miles heads into the forest to check on Frey. With Sticky holding her down, Miles heals Frey to ask her a few questions. Frey was not a part of the bandit attack on Ashbarrow and doesn't know where they took the citizens. The party lets her leave with only her sword and she dashes off into the forest. Once the party was back at Eliza's cart, she asks the party if they will accompany her as they prove to be more than capable. The party agrees to help her out and Sticky pushes her cart, allowing the party to move at a normal speed. After a few more days of travel, the party notices a cloud up ahead and suddenly it changes direction, heading directly toward the party. What is this cloud heading toward our heroes? What lies ahead in winnowing reach? Find out every other Friday live at 7 p.m. Eastern time at twitch.tv slash boardgamehouse or here on our YouTube channel.